Okay, I'm going to do question number two from S1, January 2016, IAL. Um, I've been away for a few days, so I haven't done any videos. So let's um, get started with this. Exam is tomorrow. Okay, figure one shows a part or so shows part of a box and whisker plot for the marks in examination with a large number of candidates. Part of the lower whisker has been torn off. Given that 75% of the students passed the examination, state the lowest mark for the award of the pass. Okay, so 75% of the students passed. So of course that means the top 75% of the students. So that means, um, you know, as we know, the Q1 is the lower quartile, Q2 is the median, and Q3 is the upper quartile. That's how they're shown on these box and whisker plots. So the top 75% of the students are going to be from the ones that got the highest marks downwards. So the top 75% are going to be the ones that got more than 30, which is a low quartile. So that's, that's going to be the pass mark. Okay. Then it says, given that the top 25% of the students achieves a merit grade, merit grade state the lowest mark for the award of a merit grade. So anyone from the top 25% of the students would be all the students in this region here. The ones that got more than you know the the top 25 percent so it's going to be more than the upper quartile upper quartile and above and the upper quartile we can see here is going to be that's 45 46 46 is the the way the the mark for the award of a merit grade okay now part b it's gone too low okay part c sorry it says an outlier is defined as any value greater th greater than c or any value less than d where c is q3 plus 1.5 times q1 minus q q3 minus q1 now q3 remember is the up quartile which was 46 and q1 is the lower quartile which is 30 okay and so that's all we need so c is going to be q3 plus which is 46 plus 1.5 times Q3 minus Q1. Now Q3 minus Q1 is 46 minus 30, which is 16. And D is going to be the lower quartile, which is um, 30 minus 1.5 times the difference between the upper and lo lower quartile, which is 1.6, which is, sorry, which is 16. 1.6. And there we'll get our answers. We have 46 plus 1.5 multiplied by 16. That gives us 70 as the limit for the outliers in the upper, di upper, upper part. And for the lower part, you've got 30 minus 1.5 times, uh, times 16, which gives you 6. So 6 is the limit for the um, outliers on the lower side. And it says write down the three highest marks scored in the examination. So the three highest marks scored in the examination we can see from the plot we got are going to be these three marks over here. You've got 79 and you're going to have 72. And we know that 70 is an outlier. So in this particular box and whisker plot, they've, they've drawn the end of the whisker at the highest mark, which is within the range. Okay, which is, you can see that that's actually a mark that's going to be 68. So you've got 68 and 72 and 79. 68, 72 and 79. So those are the highest marks. Okay, 68 and 72 and 79. Then it says the three lowest marks were 5, 10 and 15. Uh, on the diagram, which I've put here, complete the box and whisker plot. So uh, we remember that the, the limit for the lower number was 6. That's that's going to be the limit for the outliers in the lower section 6. So we can see that the 5 is outside the range. So 5 is going to be written here with a cross. Because it's outside the range. Okay. And the next mark was it, which is within the range is 10. So I'm going to start my whisker from 10. Okay. And then we can see that the whisker has to continue from there to the beginning of the box. And there we are. We don't have to mark 15 here because it's inside the range. Okay, so that's the box and whisker plot done. That's part E. And now part F, it says, three candidates are selected at random from those who took the examination. Find the probability that all three of these candidates passed the examination, but only two of them achieved a merit grade. Now, the ones that achieved a merit grade are the ones, uh, the top 25% of the students. Okay, so you're going to have 0 0.25. Okay, there's two of them that got the top mark. So that's going to be, 
squared. Okay, 0 0.25 times 0 0.25. And one of them, they passed but didn't get merit grade. So that means they got more than the lower quartile but less than the upper quartile. Okay, they were in this range. So one of them is in this range and the other two are above 25%, uh, in the top 25% of the people. So the ones that got, um, the one that, that passed but did not achieve merit grade, okay, he's in this range here, okay, which is in the range that 50% of the people got, okay, between the lower quartile and the upper quartile. So that's going to be times 0 0.5. Now, it could be that the first one got a merit grade and the second one got a merit grade and the third one passed. Or it could be that the first one got a merit grade and the second one passed and the third one got a merit grade. So there's three, basically, there's three different options. Okay, you can say merit grade, merit grade passed. You can say merit grade, passed, merit grade. You can say passed, merit grade, merit grade. There's three different ways that you, this could have happened. So you have to multiply this by three and that should give us an answer, which is 0 0.25 squared times 0 0.5 times 3, which gives you 3 over 32. Okay, you can write that as a decimal if you want. Zero point, that's fine, leaving it as a fraction is fine. Okay, so that's the answer for part F. I hope that was clear, and um, I'll see you in the next question.